My parents loved Christmas. After they died, I, I couldn't really bring myself to acknowledge Christmas. So I really thought maybe this year with Harper meeting her family, it would just feel different. Hey. Oh, hey. We sleep now in the light of. How's it going? Great. Hey. We meet again. Yeah. Just taking a break from diagnosing everyone's mystery illnesses. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm glad I ran into you because I'm having this thing where if I stick my finger in my eye, it like really hurts. Yeah, I mean, that's a classic case of um, contact stupiditis um, because it's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah. No, Harper? No, she's. Um... I can relate. To what? Nothing. I'd really like to drink some alcohol. Do you know where I can do that? Can I have some? Yeah. What did you mean last night when you said you could relate? Okay. What is happening? Everything all right? Yeah. I, I see her here and she's so terrified of what everyone thinks. It's just making me wonder who the real Harper is. So what has she told you that you dated in high school? We started dating. But nobody knew that. Obviously. Harper isn't out and her parents don't know we're together. We would like leave these little love letters in, in each other's lockers. And one day one of Harper's friends found one of the letters and she asked Harper what it was about. And Harper basically just said that I am gay and that I wouldn't leave her alone. Harper is a lesbian. Abby's her girlfriend. She's lying. Yeah, so the thing that I can relate to is just being in love with somebody that is too afraid to show the world who they are. Just because Harper isn't ready, it doesn't mean she never will be. And it doesn't mean she doesn't love you. I, I want to be with someone who is ready.